Most paramotor harnesses are pretty much the same, yet there are some that are more comfortable than others. Let's have a look at these little details. This is part 22 of the insights into paramotor geometry. I want to share all my knowledge about designing paramotors. Please make sure you have watched the video number 7 and 21 before you continue with this one. The core of the harness are the straps. Uh, some straps are not even visible because they are covered by cloth, but the straps are the key element that give the harness the strength. Now, the routing of the straps on paramotor harnesses is very much derived from paragliding harnesses, yet there is a crucial difference in your requirement on to paragliding harness and a paramotor harness. Paragliding harness, your priority number one and pretty much the only one is being comfortable during many, many hours in the air. While on paramotor, we have a lot more demands. That is, we start carrying the paramotor sometimes even a few hundred meters on the airfield. We need to run fast with a really heavy backpack on our back and uh, we hang on our balls after takeoff, before landing and when doing some food drags. Now, all these are pretty irrelevant to paragliding harnesses because you don't carry it, you don't carry it that much, you run a few steps of the hill and you don't do food drags. So there are huge differences between paragliding and paramotoring needs, yet the harness geometry stays pretty much the same. Let's have a look at these details. Uh, so let's start with carrying the heavy backpack on our bag. First, you want to have the paramotor high on your body, you want to have the paramotor tight on your body, and you want to have the center of gravity close to your body to make it even feel lighter. Uh, we have discussed this in chapter 7, so I don't want to repeat that. I have seen some of the harnesses on paramotors that simply copy the routing of the straps just like on paragliding harnesses and that's it you have the shoulder strap that connects to the strap in front of your body and then this strap is connected to the leg straps that go in between your legs connect to the seat board yes it's possible to carry on your paramotor just like that but it's really uncomfortable there are a few reasons for that the paramotor is hanging really low on your back and uh, the tension is transferred to your seat board, pressing the seat board from your back on your, on your legs, and it's really uncomfortable to, to walk or even run with that. A much better solution uh, commonly incorporated uh, to paramotors is adding a backpack strap. This is simply a strap, just like on any other backpack that goes from your shoulder somewhere to the bottom of the main frame. So not to the harness, but to the main frame itself. This means the weight of the frame engine and fuel tank is hanging on this little loop around your shoulders. For more comfortable walking or running in the next step, have this backpack strap really tight to keep your paramotor high. If you have them loose, the paramotor will sag down and you will feel the notice it's a lot less comfortable to walk with. Uh, chicken strap is uh, the little simple strap that connects the two shoulder straps. Have it connected, have it tight so the shoulder straps are not sliding sideways and distribute the load of the heavy paramotor uh, evenly. By adding this backpack strap there is another advantage and that is the rest of the straps may remain loose. So the leg straps that go in between your legs are loose and the bar is moving freely and the seat board strap that connects the bar and the seat board is loose as well so the seat board is not pressing against your legs. So for good running with a paramotor, 
The backpack strap is really essential. Have it tight, keep the paramotor high on your body. Have the leg strap slightly loose so you have free motion of your legs. Have the bars loose, at least to the moment when the glider starts to give you some lift, it will obviously lift the bars up, but at the early stage of the running, you want to have the bars loose. Crucial point for running with a paramotor with throttle on takeoff is that the harness should be attached at the bottom. What I mean, the harness should be attached to the bottom of the frame at this point, some parameters don't have it attached, which is, uh, I think, a, a big disadvantage because as you are running and the paramotor is on your back when you add throttle, the torque will turn the paramotor sideways, while if you have straps down here, it will just keep it right at your back in position. You remember we have talked about this in one of our previous videos. Hanging in the harness, I don't want to repeat that. We covered that in the previous video, chapter 21, getting in and out of the harness. Uh, so please make sure you have watched that. And now flying. Oh, this is the easy part. Most, most paramotor harnesses are pretty comfortable in flight. Now let's analyze some aspects, what makes some harnesses more comfortable than others. Obviously a wide seat, a wide harness, and a roomy uh, harness gives you a lot more comfort, but in, on the other hand, a tight harness that really hugs you and the paramotor gives you better feedback from the glider and you have better handling, especially on weight shift. Length of the seat board is crucial. If your seat board is really short, you have sort of a feeling of falling out. You're not falling out, but you sort of feel like falling out. And also, the, your weight is distributed on a, on a smaller part of your legs and you may start to feel uncomfortable after a while. Obviously, a seat board too long may press uh, on the back of your heels. Adjustable angle of the seat board is really cool. It's pretty comfortable and gives you sort of a feeling of safety if your knees are higher in flight, that is your, uh, this angle goes up. But for using the speed bar or getting out of the harness for foot drag or for landing, it's better to have the angle lower and have your knees a bit lower. Having that angle adjustable is really good, or at least if there is sort of an extension of the seat board that is adjustable, so the last part of the seat board may be adjusted, that's a good feature as well. That's my personal observation. During takeoff, I prefer my back, backpack straps really, really tight, but after takeoff, tight backpack straps would prevent the motion of my body for weight shifting. So after takeoff, I release those straps all the way. So they are completely loose in flight. They are useless. You don't need them at all. So have them loose and you really can move your body in a wide, ra wide range of motion. Yeah, that's it. That was a simple part. Uh, and we have a large block of videos ahead. I'm really looking forward to it. We will talk about safety on paramotors really in detail. The next video that we will start with is the low test and certification requirements for paramotors. Some countries don't have paramotors certified at all. There are some certification requirements in other countries. I want to make a brief overview and show you how these low tests work. This will be truly interesting, so please stay with us. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Should you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and see you next time.